Hi, I'm Alex Lassane. Hi, I'm Cameron Lassane, and we're producers of the Miami Urban Music and Film Festival, or MUMF, bringing to you MUMF TV. <laughs> Hey lovelies, my name's Lola Shell and I'm here on Month TV season two with the one, the only, Cam and Alex of LMG. Okay, they put together Month Miami Urban Music and Film Festival and also put together Month TV. Alright guys, do your own introductions because you guys have a full slate, alright? So Alex, take it away. I'm a filmmaker, um, also make music, content producer, editor, writer, all kinds of <laughs> areas of entertainment you know I don't like to really say I limit myself but all around entrepreneur and for me first and foremost I'm a musician I play bass guitar um, but I'm also a content producer as well I do videography photography editing um, we curate events and produce shows so yeah. <laughs> now you see why they had to do their own introductions <laughs> All right, guys, let's get straight into season two. So tell us a little bit about how you guys came into not only putting together the festival, Miami Urban Music and Film Festival, but Month TV. So as far as Month Festival, uh, my parents actually launched it back in like 1998 under the Urban Entertainment Conference until about 2006. And so we stopped because we felt like the talent was kind of fading away from South Florida and since then we see a rise coming up with the new entertainers, the people in the scene, the creatives and everything. We really felt like it was the time and South Florida needed a platform like this so we relaunched in 2014 with All Hands on Deck from LMG Entertainment. And Month TV? Uh, Month TV we felt like it was necessary because like Alex just said you know the resurgence of talent um, the renaissance is a lot of people are putting it. It's like a rebirth of talent coming down here and just a lot of new people coming into the scene, coming into the fold. We felt like it was absolutely necessary to give those people a platform and for you to learn about them more besides just seeing them at the shows or seeing them at events and stuff like that, you know, really get to meet them and, and hear their stories. So that's why we put the show together. Awesome. And now that we know why everything was founded, how did you guys become involved? I know that LMG Entertainment is a family business, but it's still a choice for you guys to be involved with what your parents have founded. As far as us getting involved, we knew our age demographic, which is like the millennial audience and ages between like 18 to 35, but we're welcome to all ages. Uh, we keep it a family friendly event, but since we knew our age demographic, we really just reshaped the audience to make sure that the audience that is there can connect with the artists there because the music is always revolving, the entertainment is always revolving, even from the films to the comedies to the arts. So we want to make sure that the talent can click with the audience themselves. So we really just make that bridge connect. Now, how do you guys choose the talent that you put on for your festival? As far as talent on the music side, a lot of that comes through social media lurking. I like to use the word lurking. <laughs> yeah, we'll hop from page to page just looking through different talent in South Florida. We'll scout, um, see how the talent interacts with their audience, see what kind of audience engagement they have. We actually might show up to their shows and like see how they perform, um, see how they network. We also like to really just um, get to know the person that we bring on board a part of the festival because your professionalism and your vibe is very important to us because we really like to try to create that family environment so how everybody interacts with each other is very important to us. Yeah, we do also accept submissions so like people have sent us music and we've listened to it but that's only like the first layer of getting involved because like Alex was saying like your interaction with your audience is really very key like that's probably one of the most important things. Networking is one of the most critical parts of the event and learning something. We want people who are like sponges. We want people who are willing to learn and willing to grow along with it. We don't want people who are just going to show up, deal with their show and then dip. You know, we want people who are willing to grow the economy that we're trying to build, trying to grow the environment and be a part of the culture. We like to see the talent support other talent because it's like we said this is a community we're building a community month is not just a festival it's a movement so if you're not performing that doesn't mean you should not show up and support the people who are there support the actual craft 
Nice. Now, speaking of showing up, how do you measure the success of the festival? Like, how does how do you guys measure whether or not you know you grew or whether or not it was worth it? Like, what do you think about success when you think about like from up? I mean, I feel like a big part of the success of the show is getting feedback from the people who are there. A lot of people after this edition of Month really had a lot of good feedback for us. They felt like it was something that they could walk away from with more than just seeing a sh or experiencing a show. I also think the fact that we added an awards component, I think that was also a measure of success because people who put a lot into their performance people will put a lot into bringing people there put a lot into their music videos they had something to show for it you know they had something to walk away from them feel like it was an achievement so I think that's probably one of the one of the ways to really gauge how well we did with the show and of course having people there you know having yeah. an audience <laughs> having people to actually enjoy it that was really great for us to feel like the event was a success. Also just hearing people say that this is a platform that South Florida needs. This is a platform that can be the next South by Southwest and could put the whole entertainment scene on the map for South Florida, which was great to hear that the people felt that way about what we put together because we put a lot of time into it. So to see those kind of reactions let us know, okay, we're on the right path and it's definitely an event that can continuously grow. The success, we let the audience speak for us. Now, how would you guys say that this year's month is going to be better than festivals in previous years. We know that the talent will be steady and consistent. We know that we'll have great talent every time. But as far as internal organization, as event coordinators, we learn something every time. We experience different things every time, so that helps us to be more organized as the event gets closer. We know that the more organized we are, the better the event we'll have. So we're learning. From both of you, I know there's going to be drastically different answers, but what was your favorite part of the last festival? Being able to like sit back and watch everybody react to something that we put our time into and watch them enjoy it and just seeing people's reactions, seeing that happiness, seeing that excitement, that makes us feel good eternally because we know that everything we put into it was worth it. I was really proud of my team. I was really proud of my mom, my dad. I was proud of Alex. I was proud of myself for just seeing everything that we put together come to fruition that night or the, over the course of two nights. And especially people who have been rocking with us for a long time, people who've been a part of the movement since before we even did the first festival, you know, like having our promo team there, having people who we don't know from anywhere, who we just met recently come out. I think that was really satisfying to just have those people see the work that we put out and and be able to experience such a dope show. Like, of course, the performances are like one of the highlights of the show. It brings a lot of energy and excitement. But I think everything leading up to that, it was just a beautiful thing to see it all come together. So, how would you guys say that this event is affecting the entertainment industry? This is a movement that will affect the entertainment economy in South Florida as a whole. You know, when the entertainment scene is booming, all businesses are booming, money is being circulated through, you know, restaurants, hotels small businesses, clothing stores, all kinds of businesses are affected. Entertainment has been known to really stimulate the economy in all cities. Like LA flourishes because of the entertainment scene. Atlanta flourishes because of the entertainment scene. New York flourishes because of the entertainment scene. So if we can do the same thing down here in Miami, all businesses will flourish. So we're really trying to help people understand that this is not just about you know the talent or the creatives. This is about all businesses for entrepreneurs and people who are just trying to do something, you know, local and small businesses. All right, lovely. That's all for this week on Month TV. This is the perfect way that you want to open up season two. Is there anything you guys want to give hints for? Um, with Mom TV, we got a lot of different kinds of shows coming out this season. So you guys look for some variety, some surprises. Just stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, and you can follow me at Alexander underscore LMG on both Instagram and Twitter. And you can follow me at Cameron LMG. And make sure you guys check out the MUMF website. So go to MUMFF.online and you can subscribe there where we'll be giving updates, um, any dates that are coming out for shows coming up, and of course, MUMF in November for 2017. All right, trust me, if you guys couldn't write that down fast enough, it will be on <laughs> somewhere on the screen. You guys already know the drill. So again, I'm Lola Shell. You can find me on everything at Lola Shell. And I will see you guys next week. Seen a few things I never forget. I made a couple people I never forget. I made a promise I never quit. So every time I go, I go hard. Saw them in the dream, supposed to be on top. Ain't worried about the hate cause they still gon' watch. Time by a boo like a rolly watch. If you know one thing, you know I'm breaking the locks. Breaking the locks. Breaking the locks, yeah.